We are outside of Home Depot in the parking lot. And I here. thought we were leaving, but is this like Goodwill Hunting? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What's happening right now? I am trying to figure out what size of cables we need to buy for all of our electrical. Okay. And how to use the fuses that we already got. To mm -hmm. fit onto the bus bar that we bought mm -hmm. so that we can connect everything together once. Uh... Morning. We're back at it. Had a little break for the past couple days, which was really <sighs> nice. Gave us time to make all these videos. So You're we welcome. <laughs> so we definitely needed to do that. Uh, we were really behind. We were just recording, recording, recording. We had never had any time to actually edit the videos or put them on the internet which takes forever because our internet up here is slow it actually takes like a six full nights rest yeah it takes a full night's rest for us to upload one video that's how slow our internet is <laughs> it takes forever so we are going to start out today by uh putting the putting the panels on there to finish up both of the back doors so both the back doors are going to be totally done yes including that one piece of foam that fell off we'll stick that back on <laughs> Lisa's favorite job. And then once the parents get here, we're gonna start cutting up, uh, cutting up wood for the sides of the van, as well as probably even finish the floor. But most importantly, we are gonna get a window in today. So we're gonna cut a big old hole in the side of the van right about there and uh, <laughs> stick a window in. Uh, so we ordered our windows through Rec Pro and they don't include any instructions at all. They may or may not be a real company. <laughs> it's no, hard. I shouldn't say that. It's not nice. <laughs> Their customer service is kind of non-existent. They, they just sort of, you, you call them up and say, hey, could you help me install this window? And they're like, sorry, we don't do that. Also, you're on your own. Also, they didn't send us all the parts for the windows the first time that we ordered. So now we have to wait until Friday to get the last part for the second window that we're putting on. We're gonna see how their windows do though, once we actually get one of them installed today. The windows look good quality, but their uh, customer service has been... Subpar. Non-existent so far. But first we gotta set up everything. Let's set up the shop now. We saved the paneling from the back doors that came with the van and sprayed them white with white paint and also painted them white so that they can match the side paneling. Turns out though, the clips and the push pins that go into these holes are very expensive and we didn't save them. Whoopsie. So instead what we're going to do is drill a hole, make these holes a little bit bigger than they are now. So that way we can fit some hardware. Well, we're fitting these toggle bolts that we bought mm -hmm. with a washer on the end of them. And the idea is that the toggle bolts will go into here and expand like that, or it's spring loaded. Yeah. Fill up that space in the back. We'll drill the bolt tight to it. And then this thing okay. should just stick right on there. So you can see that the paneling is a little beat to crap, unfortunately. We were not so gentle when we were gutting this thing and we didn't think that we would save them. Mm -hmm. um, in retrospect, we wish we had done it a lot more gently. Moral of the story is save everything until you absolutely know you don't need it. Yeah. Because we could have saved ourselves a lot more time and money by saving these panels, which we did thankfully, but also saving the pins that go with them. Yeah. Basically save everything until you're totally done with your project. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of extra crap for sure, but we've run into this a couple of times already where we've wished that we had kept something. It's yeah. probably like our 10th time. New plan. Totally new plan. So the toggle bolts would have worked, but uh, they have one major flaw. Yes. Which is that when they go into the car, if you'd ever have to remove the panel, the toggle bolt thing at the end would just expand and then fall Drop. down. And then it would just be rattling in the bottom of your car forever. Uh, so Terrible. Yeah, and it's kind of an overly complicated way to solve the problem. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we just got a bunch of these one inch self-tapping screws. Deed little guys. <laughs> and uh, we are just gonna use these to, uh, with a washer on the washer on the end of them, just to drill in roughly where the existing holes were. 
and then we'll just paint over the top of them when we're done. Again, save everything that you need that comes with your van until you know you don't need it or you do need it. Okay, how's that? That looks great. Can you live with that? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit because it's too tight. Okay, first one is on there. That looks pretty good. Maybe we'll paint it, maybe we won't. I don't know. I think it looks fine. You're gonna paint it? <laughs> All right, good luck on the other side. Ooh, almost done. Okay, it is now time to install the window. We're gonna start on the passenger side first. Uh, we're missing a little bit of hardware, so we can't actually fully install both windows today, but we can kind of install both windows today. So here's what our windows look like. They are 30 inch by 20 inch. We got them from Rec Pro. The basic process was to draw a uh, was to draw a template for the outside of the window, transfer that template onto the inside of the van, and then once we're on the inside of the van, we're gonna jigsaw from the inside of the van to the outside of the van, just following along that template, that straight line that we made. I don't know why most people cut from the outside of the van to the inside. Never made a lot of sense to me because you're never drawing the line on the outside of the van. And yeah, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. It's so much easier to do it on the inside. Maybe we'll find out why nobody ever cuts it from the inside of the van. I don't know. Oh. Lisa, how are you feeling about this cut? Not bad. I'm not doing it, so that's, that's why. <laughs> I'm just, you know, taking some precautionary measures. We're taping the bottom of the window mm -hmm. so that way if in case any of the pieces that come off from the van as you're cutting it um, they don't fall into these little cracks and make some sounds and do chick -chick 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 and get rusty so nobody, yeah nobody wants that no okay so while Lisa's taping this thing up I am mentally preparing myself and emotionally to <laughs> to cut this thing uh, I'm definitely a little scared you got this. Look Thanks. at our fan. Yeah, the fan turned out really good. This is a little more complicated. Yeah. Uh, so, well. I think we're all good to go here. Okay, all taped up. Well, let's drill that hole. Yeah. Right, that's where we start. Game you phase. got this. Game phase. Uh, it, I think it'll work. It's pretty cool. I think my cut was okay. It's really hard when you're cutting it, the, the whole metal's vibrating, so you actually can't see your line when it's going. But other than that, I think it went pretty well. And once I figured out how to do the corners, you got to start the corners, start turning way earlier than you think. But it fits. It I think does. it'll work. Okay, now Lisa's just uh, filing out the little burrs from the cut. Hey, good job filing all that thing Yay, down. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I've had some experience <laughs> on my nails. So now I got to put on the self-etching primer and just paint it all the way around the outside of that thing, get it nice and ready for the window to go in. Which, speaking of that, parents over here are busy working on the frame solution for our window. Cause because this way you could move this into the, the frame of the car and it would be sturdy. What you need is some amount of wood to fill up that gap in there. These, these windows are originally made for RVs and uh, RVs usually, in fact, RVs always have much thicker walls than the sprinters. So, so this is our you need material. some sort of framing around the outside for the screws to go into to hold it tight. Big important work here. We're testing the inside trim ring, but most of my job is just holding this thing. doing we are putting on some loctite zero second instant grab construction adhesive to oh, hold yeah. this to the metal so that way we can attach the the window trim, trim. yeah the interior window trim to be able to attach to this so it'll be nice and solid solid right, give, me that, give me that other one we are testing whether the camera will automatically turn on when in reverse. Let us see it. Here we go. Car's on. Going into reverse. <gasps> yes! Yay! Yes! Sorry, right, back to park. But now, for the real test. Can, oh. I, can I play video games? Oh, no signal. 
Let's turn around. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! We know who's gonna be driving. Wow. Yes! So this is great. So, after much discussions, we have uh, finished our framing inside, which basically consists of a small piece of our uh, small piece of our ceiling that we used that we glued to the metal on the inside, and that's going to act as our support brace, our stud, to hold this thing all together. So now, from here, uh, I'm just holding the window tight, and then the parents on the inside are going to put the trim ring around it. They're going to drive a screw through the trim ring through the wood pieces that we glued to the inside of the van and then through this uh, actual window frame and then it'll sandwich it all together and hold it really tight. And then once we're done with that, we're probably gonna run a bead of caulk all the way around the outside of this thing. Ooh, it looks pretty. Looking really good, these windows. And they're solid too on there. Turned out to be a much more complicated task than we thought. These windows being made for RVs really complicate it uh, a lot. So basically like an RV, like an RV wall is gonna be like that thick or some of them are like this thick, but most of them are like that thick. And our van is like this thick. <laughs> so basically you just need to like create a little miniature wall out of wood that surrounds your window. Yep. And then use that to clamp it all together so it's, it's big enough. But these were the cheapest windows that we could get that were actually nice quality. Um, the ones that you can buy on Amazon, you get one window for the same price that we got both of these windows. So you get what you pay for. Yes. So there's a little bit more work. And to be honest, the ones that you get on Amazon, you still have to frame around them. Yeah. It's not like they're made for sprinters. You just, you still have to create some substance for it to attach to. The parents were definitely all stars here. They are amazing. For sure. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the window feels really solid. It's, uh, it is definitely in there. So before we put on this side of the wall, we have to add more of these batten strips. So that's what's being cut right now. Um, that's so that we can also have something here. So once we screw the plywood in, it has something to screw onto. Um, then we'll also have to figure out what to put in between the window and the plywood. Oh. One more. Oh, it's too long. Yeah, it's shorter here. Josh just told me I need to cut more insulation. The only other thing we got to think about is we have all these cables that need to pop out of the walls in certain places, so we're going to have to cut a bunch of holes in this wall and pull these cables out of them. Wonky edges are making these cuts very tricky. Here we go. One end of this is going all the way to the end. Okay. So, so we can pull it a Josh bit so finished more. screwing in the side paneling, but then we realized that we forgot to make room for all the wiring that's coming through that. So it's coming back down. Not all of it. Part of it is. Some of it. <laughs> now we can drill the panel back in after we do a little light wiring. It looks good. We are going to turn on the lights and see how things look now that we have a window, some walls. Very exciting! Ready? Mm -hmm. oh! Yeah! <laughs> Looks so, so good. good. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba! Big progress today. <laughs> big, big progress today. <laughs> Stuck on all of this wall, put a window in, which
which looks great. We just did a couple projects today, but they were they were big hitters today. We yeah. we did a lot of important things today, some of which took a really long time. We probably spent five hours just on that window. And hopefully by the time the pieces for our next window come, it'll be like that. Easy peasy, because we already solved all the problems, or right. most of them. Yeah, I think we're ready to call it a night. Sun's, sun's down, another solid 12 hours in today. Um, yeah, Lisa, could you do the honors of turning off the lights? Oh, happily. Also, if you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Yes, please. Good night. Good night. I am now a window holder. This is my, this is my new life. This is my job now. See ya. The window, um... What's that thing called? A window? No. Nope. Ring? The window trim. trim. Yep, the interior window trim. I heard that. Your dad gave you that He did, answer. yeah. He gave me that answer big time. These are the things that are important, <laughs> I guess, in a van build. Just a quick boot up Final Fantasy VII here. We can have a PlayStation, but not a hot water <laughs> shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Windows are turning out to be right much more were. complicated than anticipated. Now, the Up here. the screws are going in, but first they had to be pre drilled. Even though it's a little challenging. Hey, cool, cool headband. Thanks, I made it. <laughs> What do you think, Lisa? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that? Tape. Oh. <laughs> Probably don't need to paint the tape. No. At least something is screwed. Such intensity. Why am I holding this? <laughs> Just putting that wall on up there. Getting some of that sweet B roll? No. Oh, cool. Ha <laughs> ha.